Yo, what is going on YouTube? So today, I've kind of had a kind of a hard time actually um, like getting around to races like when it comes to um, like, I guess transportation with like the bike and such. So I was like, well, I need to get a trailer or something that is more easeability and better to use in a such way but um so yeah um i stumbled across this good deal um it is a 12 foot long trailer seven foot tall so it will fit me because i'm 6'2 so it will fit i will fit in there i don't have to duck or anything but um only short part is actually right here at the frame but that's the only part that's fine but yeah so i figured i'd make this video and we can kind of walk around and i can kind of show you what it what, what it uh, looks like and what kind of the plans are with it. So, yeah. Walk around of the whole thing. Uh, we do have an accessible door. So you don't have to take the big door down in the back. So you have to access here. A little, little um, handle right here, normal. Um, this is a Detro Trailers model. Uh, like it says, 12 foot by seven foot tall. You got the diamond plate chrome here. I gotta figure out how to clean this up. After everything gets done inside, I'm gonna really work hard on the outside. Got a nice tandem axle set of wheels. Um, these are really, really shiny. Um, I just did a quick wash when I got it, but I'll definitely take the time and polish them again. Diamond plating, fenders. So yeah, I mean, pretty, pretty uh, solid trailer. Um, and then get to the back. This is kind of what it looks like lighting wise. You got the side lights there and you got one at the top i think there's one light there i do want to get some lights to run at the top that are led if i can get the camera to focus that will run at the top and then same with like how these are how this trailer has it there's a light there there's one there i think down there and you got a couple on the bottom and i want to like run them along the top and then you can get like led lights i think that would look really good um so yeah let's let's get into the inside so here we go going into the inside um i actually have my bike in here i was i'm gonna see what the best configuration is um where i'm gonna actually place the bike at um, i'm planning on getting uh the risk racing lock and load uh, mounts for it so let's go and walk in here here's kind of your ceiling what it's kind of looking like there's a little light there that thing's going it's not worth anything here's your walls basic i do need to get walls on it that's the second step the first step's actually going to be lighting so i don't have to drill holes in the wall and everything i can run it how i want to but back to the risk racing i think once i was in here i think mounting it almost all the way to the back and having it here the risk racing is a little plate you bolt into the floor so you actually bolt it like right here and there's little vertical mounts. If you've never seen it before, there's little vertical mounts that go over the top of foot pegs and then you take your foot, push down on those and it locks it in place. So no tension on the front forks or anywhere else. That way it's all right here and you don't have to worry about it. 100% safe and everything. You don't have to worry about anything falling over. So my kind of idea is to put some shelves here. I don't know if I'm gonna do cabinets or E-Track. So I don't know if you've ever seen E-Track, but essentially what it does is it's a metal track that you screw into your wall. And E-Track will allow different accessories you can put on there. Um, as little as little loops that you can hook ratchet straps to, and as big as buckets and weed eater mounts for mowing companies or whatever. Um, but yeah, there's, there's tons of different accessories you can put on E-Track. Like I said, I don't know if I'll do E-Track. I don't know where I'm gonna do it. Uh, there might be some on the floor for just easeability if I need to mount something on the floor. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna kind of leave that open, both sides open for E-Track accessories. And they also make a mount where you can actually make a shelf. So like, say the E-Track was here, there's a little thing that goes in here and then it comes out, it's a little bracket that says it's an inch and a half thick that you can put a two by four in, have the two by four come out, and you can have another mount down there and then run a two by four along and you can make a nice smooth shelf. So 
I don't know if I'm gonna do that here. I might go the cabinet route, some locking metal cabinets, but I'm definitely gonna do that idea up here. Now, the only problem is, is that this is curved. If you can't see, it kind of goes that way, but I think I can get it to work. I can get a shelf to come out here and just have it square off at each corner. And then that can be kind of the, the workbench area right here where you can just work if, say we're out motos or whatever, we come in from a moto and I don't know, you need a chain or something and we need clean something or, or whatever. You, you have a workbench that'll be open. that will be storage under it. And then we'll, we'll definitely make it look pretty in here too. It's not going to look bland or anything. It's going to, I'm going to make it my own, but yeah. And then same with that wall. Like I said, this wall, but I'll put shelves or cabinets or something over there. But once again, easy up. I am going to mount it somewhere right here or close to the end. Um, so we'll, we'll have easy up um, storage there. And then I might build, uh, well, I'm actually going to build, get that E-track mount and run E-track along the bottom here. So I'll get the same two by four um, bracket, put a two by four in there, bring it out. So I can fit my square VP racing gas tank in here. And that way it's secure and I don't have to worry about it. But that that's definitely something I'm looking forward to. I'm not sh quite sure why I'm gonna put that yet, but yeah, that's definitely something that's much needed. So yeah, um, and then to move on to lighting, which is the first thing I'm gonna tackle. I think I look up here when I got this and I see these like, I think it's three quarter inch plywood that runs all the way little strips. So I think I'm gonna buy, I'm not gonna put anything on the ceiling, but I'm gonna get some lights about as wide as these and nail them every other one or maybe do three and then three and then like make it like symmetrical. So like do one, two, three or one, two, three, four, maybe do that. And I don't know, what is this? A foot and a half, maybe foot. <laughs> So yeah, run that all along because I want it to be bright in here. I don't want to be squinting my eyes or anything. So, and I might do something down the middle. Not sure yet, but yeah, we got to get lighting tackle first and then we'll go from there, but then we'll put walls on, but it'll be, this will be a whole series of how it's actually going to come along, but hopefully we can use this for the busiest month, July and September. So those are the busiest Here's two what months. I found. Oh my God, Siri. Um, but yeah, that's, those are the two busiest months. But so yeah, that's kind of my plan here. And obviously the door, the walls will be white. I don't know what I'm gonna do with the floor yet, but here's the door. It opens just like a normal door, but this will be nice if you need to change. And that is closed. You don't have to worry about unlatching, unlatching. You can just pop right in here if you have the key and you're good to go. And what's nice is this also, most, most RVs and trailers have this little lock and you just flip that, you can't open it. So just make sure it's latched, but then you just flip it back and boom, open it. But so yeah, that's kind of what the plan is. Obviously it's gonna be a race trailer just for me. So yeah, but hope you guys enjoyed. If you did enjoy the video, please drop a like and subscribe. Show me your feedback in the comments, what any ideas you have you would put in this trailer. So yeah, I would appreciate if you would just give me your feedback and just as little as giving me a like and subscribe. Um, I work really hard on these videos and I hope you stay, stay with this series and watch it. It'll, it'll be posted. I'm going to try to video as much as I can, but so yeah, without further ado, um, I'm going to sign off and you guys have a good day. Remember there's always a purpose in life. You got this. Peace. Yeah.